Hi everyone, my name is Alex and you in my channel about tracking business. In this channel I'm talking about how to, how you can make more money and how you to avoid some mistakes and how you can be your own boss. So if you're interested, just stay tuned. In a previous video, which is right there, I promise you to tell you how to, you can rent a truck if you don't have a truck and you can start a business without any trucks. So rent a truck is pretty useful thing. I did a video before about, you can scroll down to my channel and watch also that one. Um, how, what is the difference between rent a truck and own a truck. So I decided to rent it and uh, I call and I try to research so many companies and I choose just a couple of them and uh, I will go with them and uh, will explain you what option you have, what's the prices you, you have from them and what criteria you have to pass to rent a truck from them. So stay tuned. I choose four. There is way more than four, but I choose four, which is big one, and it's more easy to get something. So let's begin. When you just open your own company and you decided to be your own operator, you have to realize that you start from scratch. It's the same thing, similar like to Credit Score. And uh, when you go to any companies, they basically don't give you to try right away without any deposit, without any run of your credit check and stuff like that. So what happens is, when you go to Rider, we start with Rider first. When you go to Rider, they asking you at least two years of experience uh, handle like um, your own company. And they write your credit check, and if your credit check is good, they basically can give it to you uh, trucks and rent and it's amount from 1 to maybe 20 it also depends on your credit on your history and uh, the prices there is pretty good it's about uh, I'm not giving you exam exactly prices because it's so hard it depends on the region also but basically they give you to something about from 700 to uh, 900 per week you pay for the truck and uh, you uh, you also supposed to pay for the mileage and they give it to you from 7 to 13 so basically like uh, each truck driver driving about three and a half thousand miles per uh, week maybe four sometimes it depends also right so and you can count how much you're supposed to pay for the truck so but in right they don't give you to your rent so you can only lease from them and um, it's only for the this con is can be short term but you have to have like um, experience of two years. If you don't have company for two years, the rider unfortunately is not for you. And uh, I was so upset because I rent from my previous company truck and they rent from rider. It was pretty easy. So communication and stuff was pretty simple. Even something broke, it was easy to repair. So rider, if you start your own business, just from scratch is not for you but if you uh, buy MC number or DOT number which is also available on the market even if it's like at least one year old they might be given to you and you can have the option all right the second biggest company is the Penske so it's one of the most popular company for rent or lease a truck why I'm saying that because they give you to two options so you can rent truck and you can lease truck so by renting a truck it means it is short term and you pay it weekly so they give it you a little bit higher price uh, and you basically can track one week two weeks three weeks or five months it also depends so everything up to one year it counts like a rent and basically you have a weekly rate which is also useful let's say you just only create it just you have one truck you don't have a drivers and uh, you decided just drive three months so you rent from them after you uh, give it truck back and you just you don't have to pay for anything. If you lease from them, you have to sign the papers, run your credit check and uh, after that you must to pay one year. Or, or if you have decided to go out of lease, you might be uh, 
and pay some penalty. The lease basically gives you your gas price, but it's also risky. I would say you don't want to work when there's a lot of snow or you just tire it, or you, you well, would say your driver is don't want to drive anymore. You lost the driver, you don't hire another driver. Basically, it's difficult you're losing money because you're supposed to pay for that, you're supposed to pay for insurance, you're supposed to pay for basically rent a truck. So for lease truck, sorry, and the uh, rent is give you two different options. So you, by one week you can simply return. But the difference on the rate, uh, I would like to give you two numbers. So if you lease for one year, it's about 600, 650 dollars per week, and uh, they also give you about six from six to eight cent per month, which is cheap and it's good. And it's, if you count overall, you know, let's say you purchase a truck and you count this lease overall it's not that much more expensive but you don't have to worry about any repairs which is make makes sense and uh, in the end of the road after five years you're more or less paying the same price if you purchase a truck it's what I explained in the video before but you're supposed to uh, sign for a year at least and you're supposed to make sure that you're gonna drive the truck if you're not if you don't so you just simply like rent it so by renting the prices, so first of all, they, they uh, asking for security deposit if you just first time uh, came to them and you don't have experience to rent another truck from any uh, other else, uh, you just new company like mine, you're supposed to pay uh, about $10,000 deposit, which is refundable after you return the truck, and uh, the price that they give it to you, it's based on location where you pick up a truck. I give you some like um, tips, so, Oklahoma state and Texas is the cheapest one. So from that che state is the cheapest one. Let's say in Miami, where I'm from, it's about $3,800 per month. Plus you have to pay uh, from 10 to uh, 12 cents per mile. Sometimes even more, depends on the location. And there it's 2,600 and uh, you're supposed to pay uh, 12 cents per, uh, per mile. The minus from this, it's only with, uh, why I actually don't sign up with them. They don't give it to your trucks what you want. Because if you rent a truck, they uh, basically give it to you what they have in stock available. So let's say you decide to start tomorrow, you call them and say, hey guys, I would like to start tomorrow. They say, oh, we have only like 2015 like old Volvo, which is nobody want to drive and it can be, uh, it can go up any single time. So this is bad side. If you lease it, they, you can basically choose a truck so you say okay i would like to take only this one 2020 2021 and they promise and they give it doesn't matter you lease or rent uh, in total as they supposed to repair every single thing what's going to happen with the truck so it's kind of options for the penske so let's move on Right, company number three, it's what I actually sign with them, it's called Velocity. It's basically the same like a rider, they have more or less the same. I'm not going to explain all numbers and all stuff. Only the difference, at least start from three years, which is hard. We need something like three years, or maybe in two years I don't want to do tracking business or something like that. And uh, rent also weekly, like in Penske, and the price what I got is also depends on the location. I got the price 750 plus uh, 12 cents per mile, uh, which is more or less reasonable. It's same uh, I, when you're driving on about three and a half, four thousand miles, it's the same amount what I paid my previous company. So, good thing. And uh, you have to pay a uh, deposit to them and you start business with them and after six months uh, they maybe recalculate your uh, like credit credit story with them and you might be if you need other truck or you give it back this truck and you want to rent another one uh, after months they, wanna, they uh, don't ask you for a deposit this is which is a good thing so maybe in the future in a half year or maybe eight months you don't have to do any deposit or maybe like one thousand which is way better than ten thousand for sure and all repairs and all stuff like that you also uh, they, they handle that the bad thing only right now is the market is high and so many truck drivers try to drive it so you can call them and say oh listen i want to track 2018 and they say oh we have it or we don't have it because 
when you lease you can choose when you rent you cannot but they basically give you an idea what they have in the market uh, in the stock right now and basically it's useful because let's say you decided to drive after one week you call them or oh, you have it no we don't you call another week or you have it yes we, we do and they also have like let's say i don't know how many locations but let's say five ten so they call the, the, that location and they maybe bring the truck there or you can fly there to pick up it, which is good. So sometimes I, I, my truck right now is 2017 Cascadia, not new one, I prefer to drive more new one, but basically I check the truck, was handled well and uh, clean stuff like that, so I decided to, to, to take it, which is fine to me. Alright, let's move on. Right, the last company what I found, which is also was a good option for me, uh, the name of the company Coop, C O O P. Uh, it's by Rider actually. So the company is interesting for me because it's something different, which is not often you can, you can find in the market. Uh, so what they give it to you, so you rent the truck from them, but they have connection with the owners, so like let's say me or some investor who, who owns the truck and decided to give it to rent and like same like in, you know like uh, Tura, yeah I forgot the name of the app, Tura, same like in Tura basically and uh, the only two things what I don't like there is uh, payments, you're supposed to pay not weekly, you're supposed to pay monthly and uh, also uh, what I don't like there is a repair so you, before you choose a truck you have to contact they contact with the owner of the truck and owner choose how it was going to be repaired so if you're stuck in the road they have actually road that assist uh, road side assist like all the companies like I talked before they all have road side assist but maybe let's say to change something like you know if something broken they're gonna say oh you can change only there or you can change only there so which is kind of difficult to me and uh, that's why i decided to go with them and the price would they give to me was a little bit higher than the um, price would give me penske and velocity but the good thing about them they give you to new truck so you can choose it it's still rent it's not leased and you can choose it you can choose it more new like 2020 2018 maybe a new truck depends what they have so it's kind of option also for you and there's also a uh, rent truck for daily or the rent truck like weekly or monthly so monthly you can choose a little bit better the numbers there is i think weekly so they charge uh, in advance 2000 uh, sorry 10500 miles per month if you book monthly and uh, they charge something about 850 900 dollars per week so it's a little bit higher than previous but it's also a good option all right guys it was a video about how you can rent the truck how much it costs which company you can call and how you can found and i hope you like this video so press the like button and see you it's not often happen when truck drivers meet each other but when you meet your friend you can do something like this let's go Real American power. Uh, guys, if you think it's pretty useful information for you, maybe your friend needs it, just share my video on social media and just press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.